friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about setting up a broadcast email in Aweber now you can do that in other platforms obviously but the one I use is Aweber so that's why I'm going to show you that one but we're going to talk about uh, your account setup and how to make sure your profile is set up correctly on Aweber and we're going to show you how to create a broadcast at least how I do it and um and I guess whatever else is connected with that so we're going to show you that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so an autoresponder what is an autoresponder you might be wondering why do I use that word it's an email broadcaster it's an email a platform that lets you send emails to a bunch of people on a specific time and it it sends it to all your list whatever list you choose so there's a lot of autoresponders out there and all of them have the same basic functionality right you can uh, get people to subscribe to your list that's that's what that's what they call a list right an email list is basically your autoresponder an email list is a list of emails of people that uh, are you know interested in whatever you have to sell or to give or to promote or anything like that or even if it's entertainment people like you or want to connect with you that kind of stuff they become email subscribers they become people on your list right so we're going to talk about how to send a broadcast so there's a couple of things you want to do when you have an autoresponder you want to make sure that your account is set up right so that when an email goes out to them they see who it's from and it's congruent with whatever your message is and it also has your proper address and your name in the footer that's important because uh for uh, legal reasons right that has to be uh, properly done uh and I'll show you how to do that in Aweber also uh creating an actual list you can have more than one list in an autoresponder you can have a bunch of lists it depends on the autoresponder but most of them let you have lots of lists uh on, on Aweber it's unlimited it doesn't really matter they don't really they they charge by the number of people on your in your number of subscribers you have so if you have 20 lists and 10 subscribers in each list that's 200 subscribers that's kind of how they do it so they don't care that you've got 100 lists or 10 lists or five lists or one list because they charge you by the subscribers right so why would you want to have multiple lists I mean why do you need more than one list right well one of the reasons is depending on how you set it up and the way I do it is my lists are meant to my list all have or at least most of them all have a a freebie or a, what do you call a lead magnet attached to the list so that people will go on the list so let me just show you my my account I don't have millions of subscribers I do have a few a thousand or so I think it is let me just get that uh, screen share going here uh let's see window we're going to go into a Weber right here and we're going to load up the page so a Weber so by the way if you want to get an a Weber account you should be going to a weber.jsgagnon.com let me just put that link there so you should be going to a weber.jsgagnon.com to get your free you can actually have a free a Weber list now obviously you don't have to go through my link it's a it's an affiliate program I would really appreciate it and of course if you go through my link I will be there to help you come and then that's the reason why you would use my link versus another link right uh, but you go to aweber.agencesergegagnon.com and that'll take you to the free trial here let me show you what it looks like uh, if I go there right aweber.agencesergegagnon oops I messed up dot com a Weber a Weber a Weber a Weber a Weber so here, let's just there there you go a Weber dot John right so you go there basically it takes you to the free trial uh option you can have a free account on a Weber you just put your name <coughs> email address and sign up 
and then you can start using Aweber it'll basically look it'll look like this just put your name and uh, your name there and your email address and sign up and you get an email uh, to confirm your but anyways let's just log in I'm going to show you my back office in Aweber and show you how to set up so let's say for example you have um, um you have a new account so when you go to your account I don't know if we're going to see anything that you know I hope not anyways that's my address uh billing domain notifications all that stuff right so what you want to do is you want to go to manage lists and you want to create a list so let's create a list the first thing you want to do is you want to create a list so you want to send out a broadcast you have to have a list and you have to have people subscribe so you want to put a company name there which if you're building a personal brand you would be putting your name there and you would have a blog most likely you should have a blog if you're building a personal brand that's the that's your hub you don't have to be constantly co posting content on there but at least if you have a, a blog word that talks about who you are and what you do and why why they would want to follow you right what they want to join and then you can have an address uh for your uh, blog or uh, for your email list and then you you want to have a sender name here which again would probably be your name and then you would have a email address sender email depending on how you set up your account uh but it has to be in, and that's set up in your um anyway so that's that's set up in your account itself you can set up those things once you've got the list I'm going to create a list so this is a, the this is just the company name the next step is what's the list name so this is going to be a test list for uh episode 222 episode 222 by the way cis222.jsgallion.com you can go check this out if you're listening to the audio you're going to go watch the video um but in the list description you want to put something that if people try to unsubscribe you want them to see what the what the list is about they might be like oh Oh, okay yeah I want to be in that list right so you can say this is a this is just a test list for my um, CIS episode okay now I just uh, obviously you want to have a description that makes no sense click on next step and then you want to have then this is the final part it's a confirmation email so whenever somebody gets on your list they get a con um, an email saying hey you sub you asked to join this list are you sure and that's a confirmation it's one of those legal things there is a depending on the platform you're using you could disable that but uh we're not going to talk about that right now uh, approve message and create list so now I have this new list that I just created and as you can see I got a thousand subscribers total um and that new list right here if I go to this I'm actually on let's yeah test list for episode 222 right I'm actually on that list you can see that right there a Weber test list for episode 222 right so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a message there's three options to create a message I always just use this drag and drop email builder you can use the other ones uh, there's training on the a Weber and everything on how to do that but I'm just going to use that right now to kind of show you how that works and um and you know what actually let's do a I could do a real email because I have I have uh, email from previous let's do a real a real email for my list though the emails I actually send out so I'm just going to cancel that just go back and uh, let's see I'm just going to go to my actual list which is one of these uh, I have a ton of lists obviously simple online strategies where I put all my broadcasts and if I look at my uh, messages my broadcasts and I look at what's scheduled right now okay so these are the messages that I already have scheduled and I can see right now that the last message I scheduled is 219 because I do this I these episodes I, I just basically scheduled them uh four or five days in the in the future so this episode today that I'm doing right now is going to go out in you know like a week or so right so and I'm not saying that that's what you should be doing but it's a start right you gotta you gotta come up with a process you gotta keep keep going keep doing the process regularly so I'm just going to create a a a new email for this list I, and I know it's at 219 now and the way I work is I got these files that contain the blog post and everything so I'm just going to go ahead and do that go in here and I'm just going to go right into my my folder there 
where I have all those whoops and um, of course in the common secrets and the last one was oh actually let's just do that star dash which one do I want I have I want 220 220 okay and then I have an Aweber file in here which is basically my Aweber file now I'm not saying you this is this is just the way I create them but obviously you can take them from a word document you can take them from your you can just type them up as you go but the point is I want to show you how to create a broadcast so how do I create a broadcast I go in here like I like I did earlier I create a message and I choose drag and drop in my case that's what I use so let's just do that I'm going to create a message I have a, there's two there's the body and the subject obviously so in the subject line I just put my subject right now I'm sending out course income secrets number 220 how to host your course for free on Click eCourse platform right so the other then what I do is I put the uh, a few lines of the text usually I do this um, and then I just paste that in here and so now I have like the beginning of my emails and I always and I'm not saying obviously you don't you can do it whichever way you want the layout everything the text that's not the point of this episode I just want to show you and if you're listening to the audio you really want to go check out the video at cis222.jsgynell.com go check out the video there at cis222.jeansergegagnon.com or jsgagnon.com okay so in here I do an image course income secrets number 220 right 220 220 right here and I got this uh, gif I put a gif 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 right then I put another paragraph down here as you can see it's a drag and drop it's pretty cool you can select these different things and just drag them in your in your uh, you know uh, email so then I just take the rest of the text here I paste it in here one of the things that's uh, weird about my editor is that I have to press I have to add these lines for everything so I'll just uh, do that now that's like I said the actual content is not the point of this episode what we want to do is um, I guess I got a typo here eh? okay so now uh in my case I I have this link I want to take that link and I want to make oops actually want to make the whole line here with that link there you go and I want to make the image with that link as well so the way to change the link on the image is just click the image and then this thing pops up on the side here you can actually put the link that you want there all right I got another link here I want to put that in my in this put that in here there we go and now okay so now I've got the email it's written up it's got the content I want and I just click on the save I guess we'll move my I can move my face a little bit here at the bottom you'll see there's a save button right there save and exit save and exit so save just saves whatever you're like in the draft mode save and exit also leaves this page and lets you uh, go back to the list so that's one of the episodes now once you've created the the email it goes in your drafts so that doesn't send it out or anything you can actually do more than one thing with this as you can see right here there's send option schedule a broadcast or add the follow-up series now just a little side note the follow-up series is what people get when they first join your list it's it's a it's it's going to be the welcome email or maybe an email that just talks about who you are what you do that kind of stuff right so that's uh that's what the um follow-up series is and we're we're not going to talk about that right now but maybe in another episode we can do that if somebody uh, really wants to know about it okay so schedule a broadcast you just click on that and in here you get all the the broadcasting options now one of the things I do is do you want to share this message I always I'm building it the more people see it the better so I'm going to share it on one of my pages and I'm going to share it on Twitter so I just apply that so it's showing me now broadcast archive enabled face Facebook and Twitter right who should receive this message so in this one normally you send an email to a list 
but you can send it to more than one list and you can send it based on a what they call a segment so I'll just show you what that looks like so over here you can see all my lists I just say include all lists right then but then I have a I have a query that lets me select only the users that have a certain criteria and I call it Seinfeld tag that to me in my in my whole process once you subscribe to my list you get the Seinfeld tag only after you've received the introduction emails the initial email so you want if you subscribe to my list today and you're on my simple online strategies list which is 10 10 emails you won't get any of these emails until after the 10 days are up right so you don't end up getting two or three emails in your inbox every every day whatever because I send these daily right so I just do that that's kind of what that is I click on apply here then when should should this message be sent now you can send a broadcast right away so if you were to click on send message now it'll actually send the message right now at least you know if there's a delay for you know if you've got 10,000 people in your list it's not going to go all right now it'll take you know an hour or something but it'll go now right but what I do is I edit this and I schedule it for whenever my next broadcast is and I set them all to the same time it's always 7 30 a.m eastern time so I go and choose the time zone here and the time right there and then I click on apply now it says schedule message for right instead of saying send message at right so you can see right there so that's and then I there's options here for tag automation I it's one of those things I've been setting up for a while but I don't I don't know how valuable it is but it lets you add tags so then you can do queries and searches and you can send people <laughs> an email to just the people that say for example open your email um, or my video links click video or that clicked click eCourse site right click eCourse <clears throat> so there so I can apply these now what will happen is that'll tag people that do those actions and then later I can use those as uh, queries to send to only those people if I want so now I just click on the schedule message and now it's added to my list of scheduled messages and you can see in my schedule now I have 220 right there right so I can create another one let's do another one let's do a, th a second one just so you can kind of see how that works again drag and drop email builder I'm just going to go to my next message 221 and get my Aweber file so there's my Aweber file for 221 I'm just going to take the subject here I'm going to paste that in here in the subject field right then I paste the first few lines of my email and I paste that in the top of my message and then I add an image in my case that's kind of how I do it upload an image I'm going to go to 221 now and I'm going to paste this one and now I have the image and then I'm going to do another paragraph down here and put the text of the rest of my post in there there we go right here just that in here and now I have an email that uh, you know is what I um I'm sorry and there we go okay so now that's the text for it I'm going to get the link that right here go like that the image I want to make sure that's a link right here and there you go so now my email is ready I'm going to save and exit right here and I'm going to schedule the broadcast as I did earlier schedule broadcast I'm going to enable sharing on my Facebook and on my Twitter I'm going to enable all lists with the Seinfeld tag I'm gonna schedule it for the next open day 7 30 a.m eastern time and I'm going to 
enable tag automation open and video and there you go and then I'm going to schedule the message for 7 30 on that uh, Monday day so there so that's how you broadcast or schedule a broadcast email that's the basics of it so now let's go back to this let's go back to this uh test test list and kind of finish off some of the stuff that there right, test list for episode 222 which is today's episode right okay so now first of all when you create a list now this is kind of bonus for this right because we showed you how to do the broadcast but let's say um you're creating a new list all right so it got, it, there's training here right there's a little one minute video what are broadcast messages here let's let's listen to this for the fun of it to start we'll choose the drag and drop builder under create a message So on this page, this is where we're going to create our newsletter. Well, the first thing we'll do is enter in a subject line. And then we'll choose a template from the gallery. So now we can add our content and use blocks to add or edit elements. Well, once we're done, we'll click save and exit. Now we're taken to our drafts page, and here we'll schedule this message as a broadcast. Now here we have some social sharing options. If we want, we can update our Facebook and or Twitter account with a link to our newsletter. Now if we want to send this email right away, we'll just click send message now. Otherwise, we can pick a date and time from the calendar. Once done, we'll click the green schedule button. And that's all it takes to create and schedule a newsletter. So that's it. That's that's pretty simple, right? That's an example of how to do a broadcast according to uh, Aweber's training, right? So there's like it shows right here. Whenever you you start a new list, there's no you don't have any messages, you don't have any statistics, you don't have anything. These are it gives you right away these options, right? You want to create a message, right? Um, you can use these if you're a geek you can use html editor sometimes that actually works better if you're trying to do something special in the email like a particular kind of display or anything like that that's that's kind of like isn't easy to do with the drag and drop but typically plain text or drag and drop is what you want to use all right so um the okay so here's the other thing so let's create a message when you create a list you want to have a welcome you probably want to have a welcome message to the list right saying welcome so welcome to my test list thanks for being uh and, and right here you can say thanks for asking for asking to be on my test list this is a list I created during a in an episode episode of course income secrets it was episode number 222 you can actually go check it out at http cis jscaino com so that link will actually it will work right now if you try to click it if you're watching this live but uh, it'll work by the time you see this because I'm recording this and I'm going to upload it after so I'm just going to make this a link right here and then go like that okay so now I have now obviously I can have an image let's add an image and I can go and upload an image right here let's say it's going to be um, images images and let's just do this one well I don't know it doesn't really matter I suppose I could put one of these emails these are banners profile pictures family let's put this one for the fun of it <coughs> hmm, sorry okay so now I have an image uh put another paragraph down here that image 
is just for fun but but as a bonus for you subscribing to this email list you can get for free my top 10 simple online strategies ebook here okay so I'm going to put a link there to a freebie that I'm giving them that they won't get unless they get on this list right so what do what I do here I would go to my course income uh, no not course uh, clicky course this is my site where I host everything so if I go here I go to the courses and I go to my simple online strategies my top 10 simple online strategies right here and I'm going to just take this ebook right here and I'm going to put this link in my email there you go and that's going to be an ebook they can get right and then I'm going to say ps you might want to join that list too at masterofsimple.com okay so that's the actual list so let's just put this link in here top 10 simple online strategies let's just make that a link like that and then this is going to be simple online strategies make that a list there we go all right okay so now that's the the email that they get whenever they join the list right so I'm going to save that now I got the email saved welcome to my test list insert your subject uh, that's an email that we didn't complete so let's just delete that okay so this is a welcome I'm going to send that as a follow-up series I'm just going to add that to the email track clicks follow-up number one then that, that that's it now that's the email that people get when they join the list right okay so now what happens if I go and I want to show this in a campaign actually I'm trying to remember I want to tag them as Seinfeld so they start to get the next email right in my case okay go to campaigns now let's see if I did this right so now I have actually I don't think I can do that I gotta go in here and uh, yeah so I gotta actually create this message uh, follow-up series uh, let's just cancel that I'm trying to remember because what I need to do now is I gotta go to my messages and I gotta copy this to the draft copy to drafts because uh because once I'm in campaigns what happens is that this email is no longer what I don't want them to be doing that so I'm going to create a new campaign I'm going to call it blank I'm just going to say welcome I should have done that first right but anyways uh you know so unsubscribe and then I'm going to add a message and it's going to be create it's going to be no choose a message choose this one that's the one I have and then I'm going to apply a tag I'm going to call it Seinfeld there you go okay so now uh now what happens okay now that I have this I'm going to make this active and I'm going to pause this one so now I have a campaign that's going to tag them with Seinfeld so that means they, they'll get that email when they first join and then they get tagged so that way my uh, other process where I send emails just to people at the that means that if you subscribe to this list you're not going to get the simple online strategies emails until the next the next day not the first day right all right so that's that's the broadcast now uh, the next thing you want is you want to have a line a sign up form or a landing page one or the other right so if I do a landing page uh, this will be like mm, create a landing page I'm going to create a page like let's just make it a basic page like this oh that's a link list oh, okay interesting I don't think I want that <clears throat> I just wanted a basic free join my list kind of thing let's uh, cancel that a landing page is basically I just want to sign up page maybe it's a sign up form it's been a while since I've done this because I have everything all in different places right 
signing up yeah okay so let's just go back to the sign up forms instead and create a sign up form I think you can set a sign up form as a full page thing which is all I want because I just want a page where you can go to and you can get on this list you can actually do that if you're watching this you can do that just for fun just go ahead and try it and sign up and go to this I'm going to make this like this and that's all it is name email submit let's make some text up here so I so join my test list from episode 222 there you go save field oh I probably want to make that nicer looking but uh let's see maybe I can make this different load template oh there's no diagonal <coughs> these are oh there you go let's make this <coughs> Uh, where's that my header my footer I haven't done this in a long time so I'm trying to remember how the how did the how that thing works um, simple make it a simple template okay save your form um okay so the header is there oh there you go there it is I want to make this bigger than that make this 36 point there you go save it there we go okay so there that's what I I just want something simple like that right go to step two so now what this is going to be is uh join a cis222 list thank you is going to be fine uh and then save your form okay now we go to step three so now I'm going to use the form as landing page so this will be the form that you can go to to join this list look at that it's pretty crazy right form 0692 whatever so let's go and um let's make this a simple page to go to I'm going to go into my uh, zone edit editor I'm going to add I'm going to add a new landing page for my domain so that you can just go to js guy now right here js guy now so let's just call this cis222 list cis222 list.jsgoingon.com is where you're going to be able to go to uh, did I copy that I don't know if I copied it copy this go here and then confirm that save that so as you can see this weird name is right here but it you don't need to know that name right all you need to do is go to cis cis222 list.jsgagnon.com all right so there we go there let's just do an incognito so you can kind of see so you're going to go to this e this list cis222 list.jsgoingo.com now it's going to do join my test list I'm going to put my name here it's going to be Jean Serge so tester tester at and then you just click on that and now it's going to join the list and say thank you for joining the list you're almost done activate your subscription it's going to tell you that you got an email you're going to activate it and then it's going to be uh, added to my list and you're not going to get an email until you activate it so that's what you got to tell your subscribers as well right if I look at this manage subscribers <clears throat> you see there's one here but it's confirmation pending so until that email is confirmed nobody you're not going to get an email so you got to make sure you uh <coughs> where did it where did it go oh it's in the incognito window so I mean once you activate it right then it'll then it'll work so let me just go and do that right over here I'm going to go activate it tester confirm your subscription this is what you this is what you get oh let's not do that like that confirm your subscription and now if I go back to here and I refresh this 
you see that that's confirmed subscribe today right and if I go back to no I guess if I go back to my email now if I look at my email I have received that whoops I've received the email from the list right welcome to my test list hi tester thanks for asking to be on my list and then uh, I crack the code and this is just for fun and you know exactly what we just put together as a as a as an email list and there you go so now that's how you create a broadcast that's how you create a list that's how you create a campaign all these things we talked a lot about stuff but the basics of creating a broadcast is what this episode was about and hopefully that got you uh understanding how that works and like I said we look at the message here that's the subscriber it says when they subscribe and everything and you can have your messages over here my broadcasts you can see that there's one I don't I didn't set up a broadcast here right but in this particular list I do have follow-up series a campaign and all that so all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions don't forget reach out have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.